This is insane. That's the word, all right. Ridge, I want this relationship, and I'm not going to jeopardize it. Why are you saying that to me? Because I am? You're pursuing another woman. I'm pursuing no one. OK, she's pursuing you, and you're encouraging it. Now, wait a minute. Just hold it right there. The focus for this quandary that we're in should not be on me. And there'd be no issue with Taylor if you just pack your bags, take your baby, and get the hell out of that condo. You're not committed to that marriage, Brooke. You're only there because Dad demands it. You don't have to cower to the man. He's not your father. But he's your father, Ridge. That's why I'm doing this. To prevent a situation, a very delicate situation, from exploding. You can't prevent that. I can try, and I'm going to. And at what cost? <sighs> Someday, Ridge Forrester, you're going to thank me for this. Do you honestly believe Dad's going to be any better off six weeks from now when you walk out of his life? No, he's going to be more determined than ever to get you back. That is not our agreement. The hell with your agreement. I'm talking about a man and the way he responds to a woman who gives him mixed signals. That's exactly what you've been doing, is giving Dad a lot of mixed signals. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're telling them there's hope. On the other side, you're telling them there is no hope. Rich, he knows I'm not going to stay in that marriage. Then get out of the marriage. I can't. He won't let me out, not for two you months. You just walk out. You walk out. You don't ask permission. You just leave. You know the reason why I can't do that. Yes, because you're trying to avoid a very ugly divorce. Oh, well, Brooke, you're looking at an ugly divorce. Whether you do it today, tomorrow, next week, two months from now, or two years from now. I am going to stay there for two months. Not one day longer. Will you be here after that two months are over? I'd like to say yes. But I'm sorry, Logan. I honestly don't know where I'll be. I hope this isn't too much of an imposition. No, I decided to work at home today. So what can I do for you? Well, you can accept my family's gratitude. For what? For the way you handled last night's emergency with Ridge. Oh, you don't have to thank me for that. So have you talked to the police? Yes, I spoke to them this morning. Any leads on who might have done this? No. Probably just a random act. Maybe. You don't think so? Ridge's watch and his wallet, none of that was taken. And the way he was beaten, I mean, just so viciously, it seems like maybe Ridge was targeted. By who? Could be anybody, really. My son's a pretty high-profile young man. Anyway, he's very lucky. It could have been a lot worse than it was. He's home this morning. Yes, I know. You do? I'm the one who took him home. I see. He called me from the hospital last night. He was very insistent. And I know if I hadn't gone up there, he would have just taken a cab. Well, Taylor, I'm sure you had Ridge's best interest at heart. Well, whatever that is. You know, I'm not sure if Ridge even knows what his best interests are these days. Maybe not. But I think he's beginning to learn. And I think you're helping him begin to learn. Hello, Margot. I thought you'd stop by to see me today. And how were you planning to avoid it?
wasn't going to avoid you, Blake. I have a hard time believing that. So how was your visit with Taylor last night? I needed to see her about Ridge. About Ridge? Yeah. I got a phone call from a friend of mine in the police department, and he told me about Ridge. So um, naturally, I wanted to get more information. So you want to have a chat with Taylor? Yeah. Why didn't you just ask Eric or one of the other foresters? Well, I suppose I could have. So instead, you decide to go and drop in on a woman you barely know at all. Obviously, you find that intriguing. I find it strange. Why? It makes me think that you might have had another reason for that visit, other than trying to find out about Ridge's condition. <sighs> like what? You tell me. It's really nothing to say. Nothing to say. That's amazing. And you think you know someone so well. If you're talking about me, I don't know how you can say that. I've hidden nothing from you. You're hiding something right now. And to think, Margot, that not long ago we were talking about marriage. You know, that's true. Because I'm not so sure that I know you very well anymore either. Then get to know me. How? Ask it. The question that's on your mind. Ask me. What happened to Rich? Did you do it? I just came to pick some things up, and now I'm going to work. Fine, we can talk at work. What do you want? Is Eric in? No. Then let's talk inside. <sighs> All right, what is it? You know what it is. If you're referring to Eric and me. No, it's about you and Ridge. What about Ridge? I saw you leave his house earlier this morning. I could see that you were upset. Brooke, I hope to God you've learned the lesson from what's happened. Yes, I certainly have. What is it? That Taylor Hayes will stop at nothing to get Ridge. Exactly. Brooke, look, you can't equivocate in life over matters of the heart. Unless, of course, you don't know what it is that you really want. Which is not my case. But that isn't how it appears. I'm committed to this course with Eric, Stephanie, so don't try and persuade me otherwise. You're only wasting your time. You still love him. Who? Eric. Oh, Stephanie. You're, you're committed to him. You just said so yourself. If that's the case, then go ahead and accept it and face it. But if you're going to do that, then you've got to face and accept the fact that you can lose Ridge to Dr. Hayes. Eric, I have to say something, and it's not easy for me to say it, but I have to. I don't want you to count on me becoming involved with Ridge. He's very much in love with Brooke. Ridge has always wanted what he can't have. And when he gets it, he loses interest. Pretty classic stuff, huh? Yes, it's very classic. Except for one thing. If he suddenly gets me, is he going to stay interested? Is that what you're concerned about? What happens after Ridge shows you some interest? What I'm really concerned about is you or anyone placing too much hope in something as unlikely as a relationship between Ridge and me. I don't think I'm placing too much hope in it. I certainly don't want you to think that I'm putting any pressure on you, either. I would never let anyone pressure me on something like this. No, I don't believe you would. And if I should show Ridge something more than passing interest, I don't want it interpreted as that I'm helping you or that I'm siding with you or anyone. 
No, I would expect that you would keep your objectivity, Doctor. This is not a matter of objectivity. Taylor, I was making a little joke. Oh. Well, I guess I am a little overly sensitive about it. But then why shouldn't I be? Do you have any idea how potentially explosive this situation is? Yes, I do. I think I'm more aware of that than anybody. Believe me. Then you can also understand why I'm so reluctant to have any kind of personal relationship with Ridge or any of you. Professionally, yes, I would love to help you resolve this. Oh, my God, but to try to pursue something intimate with Ridge, especially at a time like this. Taylor, there may not be a better time if you're truly interested in Ridge. Brooke is not available to him right now, and quite honestly, I'm not certain how much longer that's going to last. Make hay while the sun shines. Ooh, something like that. I have to go. It's good to see you. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? No. But why didn't you ask me when I walked in the door, Margot? Or why didn't you call me last night and ask me then? Because I didn't think it was that important. That important? You're wondering if I'm the guy who almost killed Ridge Forrester. Of course it's important. It's certainly important to me. I take it this means you're going to say you didn't do it. Going to say I didn't do it? You actually still believe there's a chance that I did? Well, of course, why shouldn't you? That's what sent you over to Taylor's last night, isn't it? Who put that idea in your mind, Margot? It doesn't matter. That's what I thought, it was Bill. Blake, I want you to stay away from Bill. I don't want the two of you having it out over this. I'm not gonna have it out with Bill or anybody else. It just astounds me, Margot, that you could actually believe this of me. All right. So I was a little tough on Bill. But what the hell, he asked for it. I'm sure there have been times when you've wanted to hit him. Blake, it looks like you did more than just hit him. It looks like you beat him up. I never wanted that to frighten you, and I'm sorry if it did. Margo, I value our friendship. Do you? How could you even ask that? Well, I value it too. But it's going to be worthless if you're lying to me about this. I'm not. Please believe that. I'm not. I can't imagine you want me to walk out on Eric like this. I just can't imagine it. Eric isn't going to drop dead if you walk out on him. No, he's just going to hate me, which I'm sure you would love. But he's also going to hate Ridge. I can prevent that, Stephanie. Damn it, I can prevent it. So why don't you just back off? Brooke, don't be so naive. Ridge and his father are at a difficult point in their relationship. Nothing you're going to do can change that. Maybe not. But I could make it a lot worse if I took our baby and I walked out that door. No, you make it worse by staying. Eric wants you back. He's told me that. He's going to fight to keep you back. If you weren't living in this apartment, he wouldn't even be talking that way. Don't you understand? Stephanie, I have agreed to the two months to help him get back on his feet. I'm not going back on that. He doesn't need you to help him get back on his feet. Don't be so egotistical. That kills you, doesn't it? The fact that he needs me. You know what kills me? The way you're playing this whole scenario out. You say you love him. It's as, it's as if the US seemed to enjoy this. You're sleeping in the same bedroom with that man. He's lying right next to you, practically. He's upset, he's frustrated, and he feels betrayed. If you really care for him, you wouldn't be anywhere around him now. I'm around him because he's forced me to be around him. And you've never heard of the word no? 
then he could delay the divorce indefinitely. But he won't do that. I know he's threatening to do that, but he won't do it. He wouldn't do it to Ridge. He wouldn't do that to you. Yes, he would. Then you really don't know him at all. <sighs> Stephanie, you are very clever. You push the right buttons, you twist things around, and as a result, you usually get what you go after. But not this time. I believe what I'm doing is right. I'm doing what Eric asked me to do in exchange for a peaceful divorce. I'm doing it for Eric, for Ridge, and for myself. And irony of all ironies, I am doing it for you. You're going to lose him if you don't act now. I don't believe that. You're handing him on a silver platter to Taylor. If, you, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. If it isn't what you want, then you've got to believe me and trust me when I tell you that she is on the move. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, all right, what took so long? What took so long? Doc. <sighs> Hi, did I catch you at bad time? I was just uh, shaving her. Trying to shave. Come on in. Coffee? No, thank you. So what brings you over here? Well, in the last 12 hours, I've had a steady stream of visitors. Brooke, your mother, your father. Then I thought after I left here, I'd go visit Thorne and Felicia, complete the entire family. Well, there's always Kristen, too. I mean, that would entail a trip to New York, though. So. Why did they all come to see you? Because of you. They're worried about you. They wanted to know what happened last night. Why didn't they just come ask me? I don't want that guy's face rearranged. Because you are supposed to be resting. Let me look a second. Ooh, just look. Look. Don't touch. You were trying to shave this face? Yeah. It's kind of like walking over a minefield. I think you'll live. Yeah? My heart's still beating, though. Strong as ever. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's quite a bit faster, though, isn't it? Down, boy. It's been a while, Doc. For you and me? Or just you and anyone? It's been a while, Doc. Wrong woman. I don't know. Lately, I've been wondering who's right and who's wrong. Let me know when you find out. Why did you come over here, Doc? Well, I, I wanted... Uh, I, I wanted to see if you... I'm listening. 